Hey, what's up, man? We back again. We back again. Yes. Hallelujah. We back again for Poetry Uncut, man. This is a new thing I'm doing. Just trying to get some of this work out. Hallelujah. Um, from the wilderness, man, because some of these poems, you know, really, you know, because just a sidebar, and I kind of touched on to on, touched on this on closed chapters, is you know a lot of this <laughs> a lot of this these poems that Yahuwah has um given me the strength to 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 write they didn't come it's, it's it's just like you know poems just don't come just for me you know what i'm saying they don't come just oh i'm writing a poem you know what i'm saying now sometimes i have gotten to that mode where i'm like i'm just gonna write a poem woo woo but a lot of this content came out of pain came out of joy came out of just all kind of type of emotions and going through things and so when you know I, I get a chance to 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 you know read and share um the wilderness and, and some, some poems in here it's my experience it's, it's, it's my experiences and, and things that you know that i'm hoping that first like i said before first is therapy you know what i'm saying and, and, and i'm hoping that being you know sharing the truthfulness and realness of things will maybe uh, help somebody and maybe who it can use um, to bear fruit through the Ruach HaGadosh in somebody else's life. Um, and and I, believe that, I believe that's our call to life is that we just, we have to be 100. You know what I'm saying? As, as they said back in the day, we got to be maybe 100. And being 100 is like, you know, you're not in a profession to receive anything from anybody, right? And you're not expecting anything from anybody. You are praying and hoping and pleading with Yahuwah that the Ruach HaKadosh will move in such a way that people not only hear, but they be transformed or to be inspired to take action, you know, because people talk about inspiring and motivating people and all this other stuff. Like, I just keep it real. I'm not here to motivate you. I'm not here to inspire you. You know what I'm saying? Like, my prayer is that you will be moved to action with Yahushua HaMashiach and that it would bear fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, that's, you know... Like, we have to move, like, how heaven moves, right? In heaven, they say they, like, they get hype. You know what I'm saying? They get hype when one sinner comes to repentance, right? They get hype when people are doing righteousness. So it, it is not a thing of, you know, let's just get hype because people click the button. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, you know, somebody said, oh, man, that was awesome. You know what I'm saying? Uh... You know, it even got to the point where, you know, like, uh, how do I say this so you don't take this the wrong way, is, so there's this level, it, and I believe it's one of the prophets, I, I can't, it just can't come to mind, this just came to my mind though, so it's one of the prophets where he was talking and he was saying that, what well, Yahoo was saying, is some of the people would love to come listening to one of the prophets and it was like an instrument I believe that's the prayer we use don't quote me but it was like listening to like this thing where you know people would like love to listen like oh man like weird that's cool man wow you know what I'm saying listening but they wouldn't do what he said you know what I'm saying it's like man like they wouldn't come oh man like man when you playing again, you playing tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, nah, 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 nah. And so, kind of what we on is we on transformation. We on things happening, right? Is that, you know, people being challenged, right? Um, because that's that's how we live. You know, if you live in 100, um, through Yahushua, then you will be challenged, right? And then once you 
get through that challenge with this help, guess what? You're going to turn around and you're going to challenge other people now because you're like, now that's what it is. You see what I'm saying? Uh, he, who, he who sharpens, you know what I'm saying? So we sharpen one another, right? So um, so this piece is called Press On. So it's, it's, it's almost like a part two of the other one, but a little bit different because, and it probably won't be so long, right? Is that Press On. Press on. It's kind of linked to the. It's kind of linked to. Yeah, it's kind of linked to the other one. When I say the other one, I mean closed chapters. Is press on. Press on, man. Sometimes it's hard to do, man. That's that's what old people say. You know, I just got to keep on keeping on. You know what I'm saying? Keep on keeping on. Well, I ain't gonna say keep on keeping on because that can insinuate because if you're doing wrong I don't want you to keep on keeping on because that's like you know that's insanity you know what I mean so I ain't gonna say keep on keeping on keep on keeping on if uh, put a clause in there if you walk in with your Husha Mashiach to the 1000th power you know what I'm saying like keep on keeping on power to you um, so but 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 what I'm saying is is press on is sometimes Sometimes it's tough. Sometimes it's tough to press on, man. It's 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 tough to press on. I'm telling you, man. Um, especially, especially in this walk, man. When you feel when it sometimes it feels like you're on an island. You know, it's, it feels like you're on an island, and and even though I mean, you know, even though you may know people, it still feels like an island. You know what I mean? That's 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 a tough part right there. When you when you know people you know what I'm saying you still feel like an island man and what I learned with that feeling is you have to embrace that you have to embrace that you can't run from it because you got a lot of people that run from it and that's how they get jammed up that's how they get jammed up in false doctrines that's how they get jammed up with these false prophets right because they want to be a part of something so bad that they don't want Yahuwah to allow him to let him let them be a part of something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know I did a lot of hop, hop, skip, jump on that one, but let me let me rewind it back. They don't want to wait for Yahuwah to allow them to allow them to be a part of something. You know, it reminds me of that movie King King of Dreams, and I don't know if this scenario happened in real life because you know. It ain't like explicitly written in scriptures like that. But King of Dreams, it was talking about Joseph and it was talking about it was one the animation and they was talking about one one scene where he wanted to go pray with his brothers, right? And man, uh Jacob wasn't really having it like that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah. It's like, nah, man, you in here with me, you doing this, we we doing this right now. You want you ain't with them. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes some of us are like, you know, we have those missions like Joseph, Joseph. And it's tough because you want to you want to go outside and play. But, man, I'm telling you. Live in that protection, live in that. Um, that favor, because you who knows what he's doing. He can see people. You see what I'm saying? And he, he, he protects those gems. He protects uh, his anointed. Right. And he will connect you with the people he wants you to connect with. But it's him doing it. It's not you and your old initiative. Oh, these people sound cool. I like that doctrine. Or this, ooh, woo, woo, woo. And you're being swayed by every two fro doctrine. The wind blow over here. You over here. The wind blow over here. And you can't even, you can't even uh, quote what you've been learning. You know what I'm saying? You can't even stand on your own two feet without... Standing on somebody else uh, Building that they built You know what I'm saying You stand on You standing on their boat You know what I'm saying Little do you know That He sailed up the bottom of that boat Right And it's, a, and, it's a, and you in the boat You done committed You know what I'm saying Oh we going over to this island Woo 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 And then you hear that You see that leak coming through It's too late You already on the boat You know what I'm saying You gonna have to eat that one So The thing about it is Is press on And press on 
is under any circumstances. You know what I'm saying? We press towards the mark for the high calling, which is in Yahushua HaMashiach. We press on to that crown, to that day, that great day, right? When we shall see his face, that great day when we shall be crowned, an everlasting crown. That great day when we shall reign with Yahushua for a thousand years, that great day. You know what I'm saying? That day, for those who names are written in the Lamb Book of Life. Hallelujah. Um, so, um, and I want to say hallelujah twice. Hallelujah for Yahushua Mashiach and for the Father sending our Savior, Master, and uh, Him laying down His life. So, press on. For the joy that was set before Him, He endured the stake, despising the shame. For the joy that was set before him, he despised the shame. That's heavy. Despising the shame. Despising the shame of feeling like you're alone. Remember, I remember the king said, he said, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, that all, all the disciples were going to leave, but he is not alone, for the Father is with him. That's what he said. So the Father was with them. So, he knew that, yeah, these people, everybody's gone. You know what I'm saying? But remember, remember a little bit back, man, it was 5,000 deep. Shh, they was 4,000, man, it was thousands deep. Remember the bread? They had all the bread and the, too much bread. They had so much bread that we, we got more bread than the people. You know what I'm saying? Like they ate, our, they ate everything and they good. We still got bread. This is how many people was rocking and now they gone. Where they at? Right? This is, this is, this is. The, the 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 parable that you have to get ready for to press through uh, to get to this crown, right? You got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? A servant, you know it. A servant is not greater than the master. So get ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. So press on. Press on through. Hella high water. I, I I love this. Me and my me and my, my homie, we have this we have this phrase. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, you better zip. Man, you better zip your windbreak up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Remember when you had a little back in the day? I had that I had that little '90s. Um, I don't know if it was Champion. I don't know what brand it was, but basically like you know them you know them '90s joint with the different different colors and everything. Like you used to zip that joint up to the top, you know, with your all the way to to the top of the neck, you know what I'm saying? So that wind won't come through. You know what I'm saying? You better, better zip that thing up to the top, bro. You know what I'm saying? You trying to you, you trying to be cute, you know what I'm saying? Got the thing halfway like to your chest or something. Nah, man. Zip it all the way up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Put that hood on and shh. Pull, remember you put the hood on? And you can you can do the strings. You can pull the strings down. You can have like your nose and your eye your eyes halfway halfway seeing through it. You better do that, man. You better shh. Man, I'm telling you, these winds cold out here. <laughs> these winds is cold. So you better press on, man. And you gotta. And this is the thing: is when you press on, you have to make up your mind that you're gonna press on before you start pressing on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy, but it's like once you, because once you, it, it, it's like this: it's like you want to run ten miles. But you ain't even ran one mile. And then you say, when I get a chance, when I have to run 10 miles, I'm going to run 10. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you straight up, it's not going to happen. You can believe you can believe in miracles all you want, right? But it don't work like that, right? And I'm going to tell you why it don't work like that. Look at the parable because you might say, oh, well, I got faith. Okay. Well, look at the parable of the 10, 10, 10, uh, 10 virgins, five wise, five foolish. You know what I'm saying? Remember. The five foolish, they came back, hey man, give me some of your oil. They said, uh, not so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not so, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, you you gotta you gotta buy this on your own accord. You know what I'm saying? I can't give I can't give to you, right? Uh another parable of that that breaks that down, you know, because I used to have trouble with that. So sometimes you will like I'll read a parable and then you will give me another parable that breaks down that parable and you're like, Oh, I, I get it, right? So one of the things that broke down that parable is like, so imagine we had, imagine we took a test, right? Everybody was in the room, we took a test, there's 10 of us, right? Now there's five people who study, 
right? There's five people who's, who, who, who was spending time with the teacher. They was like, man, sh hey, what about that? What about that? Remember you said that? What did that mean? You know what I'm saying? They was under the feet, right? So the five foolish, they was out playing. They was doing their thing. They was whatever, whatever. Man, we got this, man. We're going to come into the test, and we're going to, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to get there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make it. So they came into the test because maybe they thought they was cool. I don't know. They thought they was cool with the other five or whatever. But the other five respected the teacher. They respected the teacher. So the other five, they was like, the foolish, they was like, man, we going to, you know what I'm saying, we going to basically, they basically, let's just keep it raw. They thought they was going to cheat. So they thought they was going to cheat the test. So they come in there. Looking at the five whys, like, hey man, hey, 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 what's number, what's number three? Hey, what's number three? You know they passed the notes. Hey, what's number three? You know what I'm saying? One of them whys, the whys look like man, I can't help you, man. Hey man, don't be looking at me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get me jammed up with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's like. That's what it's like, man. It's, it's coming to that time where. Where there's going to be a day where the wise through Yahushua Mashiach have been sitting on his feet, just like, just like Miriam. Remember that story of Miriam and Martha? You know, one was doing the dishes. That man, I mean, you don't see me. You don't see me in here, man. You don't see me in here doing this stuff. And you going you just gonna be sitting there, right? And then what the master tell it? You know what I'm saying? Like. Like you are worried about all these things, but 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 she picked the the most important one, right? And and that's learning at the master of the feet. I mean, learning at the feet of the master. And so, this is what you have happening, and this is what you have going on, is that you have to press on in the mental space before the moment of pressing on is at hand. Because endurance, he said, endure to the end. You only endure by enduring. And that's not even deep. You only endure by enduring. You have. Hey, so I promise you I didn't cut it. So what happened is the the SD card uh, was full up. Full up, like Jamaican say, full up. So, and anyway, so we back. And what we're talking about is getting into this poem, right? And it's called Press On. So, I know that was a, chain, a tone change like a mug, right? So, but basically, press on. Press on. Press on, even before the moment of press on happens, right? You're pressing on. And the, the interesting thing about pressing on is once you have been taught how to press on, pressing on is not a thing and it's not even a reaction of doing something. You see what I'm saying? That make, does that make sense? It's like a reaction, right? That you, you know, you've been doing it so long that it's, 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 it's a reaction. It's not like, well, I'm enduring. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm enduring, you know what I'm saying? It's like... No, it's just it, it, it's it's in you. It, it, it's a, it's a part of you. It's not even a uh, a thing outside of you that I have to pull and say, well, I have to endure to this. You know, it's like no. So you know, it just bec it's it's a habit. It becomes a habit. So press on. Press on is. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it. Press on. If your family forsakes you. Remember your brother Yosef. When grief overtakes you, remember you are not the first, nor will you be the last. For the rain falls on many rooftops. It is the journey to the top, the destination and the high call of Yah. So take a deep sigh, even though it was the one in your bosom that betrayed, don't be afraid. To face the road alone, he will never forsake you, 
even if you can't comprehend, Yahuwah shall defend and show his hand to be with his servants. Be observant to the shadow of your walk. Cling closer to the shepherd who whispers when he talks, leading you in the path for his name's sake. And if no one lends a hand to bear the stake, press on. For your support is not in man. And if the whole world is against you, you are a one man army. With Yah on your side, you will slay every giant. So don't fear the great number. It's unbalanced for a reason. So in every season, credit will be given on high. That by his name, he used you to defy the odds. So, hallelujah. Let's press on. And got a couple thoughts while I was reading. I wanted to, I wanted to just be like, hey, man, um, tell you right now. And um, that thought was, um, and some of these poems are like years, years ago. So a lot of, a lot has changed and process of thinking but a lot is just, a lot has um a lot was before his time but um one of the things that caught my attention is um what was it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's this line, and I love this. You whole shall defend. And I'm going to just come with my closing thought. Is that sometimes when it comes to betrayal, sometimes when it comes to false witnessing, you know, when the enemy, because I, I, I believe that that's one of the, because we, we use Yahushua as a prototype, right? The, the bearing of false witness led to the accusations which led to this and that and so on forth right you know oh he going he said he going to tear down the temple or he said this or you know whatever they say he's saying and how it will be today however they say you saying right the repeated cycle and one of the hardest things to do and I'm a firm believer that you cannot do it in the flesh I believe it's impossible is to get to the point where you say that statement that is that Yahuwah shall defend me you know what I mean like Yahuwah shall defend me I, 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 I you know I know I'm on, I'm on his side and so you know because that's tough man I, I, I've had those moments a lot of times and, you know, when the whole stadium saying one thing and you just got to eat it, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you're like, now you're going to eat it. it. It's tough, man. It's tough to just walk away and just say, you know what? You was going to defend me. I don't have to, you know, because it's really, a, it's, it's like a, it's, I mean, it's, it's almost like a test, I feel like, because it's like, it, it, it's, it's making you meek. Because meekness is a thing where I can say something. And I will be, I will be right. You know what I mean? Like I, it, like, I'll be speaking truth, right? But it's not always, it's not always necessary. And you have to justify to say you have to see where, I would say, see where that thought is driving you to speak the truth, which is very tricky, right? Because we always supposed to speak the truth, but there can be motivations and intentions behind you. Speaking that truth in that moment. Is it pride? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you have to, you feel like vengeance is yours, so you got to speak? What is it? You see what I'm saying? Or do you, do you, 
do you know that Yahuwah is going to defend your enemies? I mean, scratch that. That Yahuwah is going to uh, come at your enemies and going to, as it said here, he is going to defend you. And you know he's your defense. Kind of remember what Dawood said. And, uh, and, and, and that's what it gets into. So, you know, that's where I'm at with it. And that's where we have to be at with it. Where we know that Yahuwah will defend us. He is our shield of faith. Right? To block the flaming arrows from the evil one. And we give him thanks and honor and praise through Yahushua HaMashiach that it is so. And so that's that's it for me. Um, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. And I'm about out of here.